Welcome back to Bad Bad Bowling 101 with your boy, Coach C. That's right, Coach C. So today we're going to be going over several things. So I'm going to make not one, not two, but probably three videos a day. And the first video is going to be about maintaining your bowling balls. Okay? So what I'm noticing is people have a misconception of actually how to take care of their bowling equipment. So when we go out and bowl, the object of bowling is to maximize our score. So to do that, we need to get the best possible score each time out. In order to do that, these balls right here, they have to be at their best for us to be at our best. If it's at its best, then you know what line to throw, you know what break point. And from that point, as the game goes on, you make adjustments according to that. Now, why do you say you need to take care of a bowling ball? So let's do this. When you get a bowling ball out the box, it's at a factory setting, right? It's at, it's at factory. Unfortunately, you'll never get that ball back to factory. So what I like to do out the box is I will take an Avalon pad, a 1,000, a 2,000, whatever be it may. I will take those pads and I will go over my ball with it because why? I say because it's a repeatable thing. Anything that's repeatable means consistency. So if I take this to 2,000 with an Avalon pad, I know that every time I hit it with an Avalon pad at 2,000, I know what it's going to do, how it's going to do it, and when it's going to do it, which makes my game more consistent. Okay, so now that we have why I do it, the question is, Coach C, how often do you do it? How often, Coach C, do you hit your ball with an Avalon pad? Well, let me tell you this. I hit my ball after every three games. And you're going to say every three games? That's just too much. Is it really? Is it too much to get what you want out of your equipment? Because this is mine. So it's like a pair of shoes. You're not going to run through the mud and never clean them and be like, oh, well, my shoes are dirty. I don't know why. No. Here's the thing. Taking care of your stuff is your business. If you never want to do it, that's on you. But if you would like to get the most out of your equipment long term, this is the way to go. Now, here's the reason why I do it after every three games. Your, what would you say if I told you the service of your ball changes between the first ball you throw and the last ball of the first game? It's been proven that you can take a ball at 2,000 grade, roll a game, and it's at 4,000 by the time you're done. Now, have you ever heard the words lane shine? Lane shine is what's on this ball right now. This ball normally is at 2,000 grit. You see it? You see how it shines? Now, this is a pearl ball. This ball is supposed to shine. This ball is supposed to be dull. But after rolling just one game, this is what it looks like. One game, lane shine. And you say, why? Wait. So, I should get... My bowling ball is going to do all this after one game. Well, I thought the oil just went over the track, you know, just to where the track of the ball rolls. It's true, yes. However, your ball gets more surface oil on it. And the grip changes more by the ball return, the ball coming back to you, than it does by the lane. See, the ball coming back through the surface machine actually changes the whole ball. And you're right. Your ball does roll over the track, and that's where the oil change there. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do half this ball really fast. Okay? So you just do it evenly throughout the whole ball. You don't have to press too hard. And I'm just going to do the top part just so you can see the difference, okay? So, so, and while we're doing this, let me explain something else to you. So position. How we position our hand on this is just easy, relaxed, not too tough, not too forceful, okay? Now, a lot of people will tell you after they bowl their game, they'll put their balls on their cup, and you know what they'll do? They'll spray it with cleaner. And they'll say, see, my ball is actually back to its finish with bulky. And the actual reality is, no, your ball is clean, but it's not back to where it should be. Okay? Now, now, 
you see this, right? It's duller, and then you turn it over and shiny. Dull, shiny, dull, shiny. Now, to get your ball back to where it's at its maximum performance, this is what you need to do, okay? You go over it with your pad, it's back down to the 2000 surface, and by the time your first game ends, yes, it'll be at 4000, but it'll be gradually, you'll be getting the maximum performance out of your ball, and then when you're done with your ball for the day, then you go ahead and take it back to a 2000, because when you pick it up the ball again, you'll know exactly what to get. Now, here's the catch. For me, this Proton is a wonderful ball. Do I use it normally for three games? No. But there's some days that it's possible. Some days I'm out of it by game two. And that's okay too. Now, here's the deal. If you guys have any questions in regards to this, leave it in the comments or you can message me on Facebook. Bad Bad Bowling 101 on Facebook. Or you can message me on the TikTok. Or you can also message me on the Instagram page. Okay? If you like the video, make sure you hit a thumbs up. And that little red box with the white writing in it, that's a subscribe. Make sure you guys hit the, hit the subscribe button. Now, remember, the like button and subscribe button is not only for you, but it also helps the channel. Now, before I go, the last thing I'll cover is this. We're at 1,065 subscribers. At 1,100, we're doing the ball giveaway. For everybody that watches the end of this video, put a question mark underneath here in the comments, and I will enter you in the ball giveaway raffle another two times. So if you're in one of the guess this ball, then you're already in. But if you put a question mark, which tells me you've seen the end of this, then I will put you in another two, which will give you a three. Okay? Now, Coach C, this is Bad Bad Bowling. Have a great day.